Hi everyone. Recently, I just traveled from Lisbon to Hong Kong. It's a long and intensive trip under strict COVID inbound policies. Today, I'm gonna share my experience and my tips about the trip back to Hong Kong. And first, let me briefly demonstrate what the documents required by Hong Kong government to board the plane. First, you need to take the PCR test, and the result has to be negative, and it has to be taken within 48 hours before your flight take off. Second, a document proves that the lab you took the PCR test is ISO 15189 accredited. Third, you have to bring a letter of reservation of the designated quarantine hotel. The fourth document you need is a vaccination record. The PCR test, we have to understand the definitions of several times. The first is the sample taken time, and there is report time. Sometimes it takes more than 24 hours to get the report, but the calculation starts from the sample taken time to origin departure time if your flight is direct flight. However, in most of our cases, we have to transfer or stop, and then we need to know the departure time of the last direct flight to Hong Kong. Between the sample taken time and the departure time of the last direct flight has to be within 48 hours. When you book the flight, you have to consider about the feasibility of taking PCR test and getting the result before your flight takes off. My flight from Lisbon to Hong Kong is over 20 hours. It took me like uh, like seven hours be- before I tra- transferred that Dubai. I used the speed test and get the result with like, within four hours. Second is the ISO 15189 certificate. It- it's written on the government official website that a document proves that the lab you took is ISO 15189 accredited. It could be the certificate itself or a letter from the consulate or other government organizations. My way is to ask the consulate of Portugal and they give me a list. So I went to the lab, the same lab on the list. Please, uh, please attention this document is very important you won't be allowed boarding without this document the third is the quarantine hotel my case is that i have to book at least 40 nights but the latest news is that after 1st april 2022 only seven night reservation at a designated quarantine hotel is required there are only 44 quarantine hotels, and if you search trip.com or booking.com, most of the hotels are not available. My tips is that you short list some hotels you preferred and then email or call them one by one to get the correct quotation and availability. I highly recommend my quarantine hotel. It's four points by Sheraton because their cancellation policy and the service is awesome. The- Seven days before your arrival, you can change your mo- uh, cancel the reservation without any charge. Like me, my flight got once banded only three days before my arrival, and I wasn't able to find any flights to go back to Hong Kong. So I had to cancel the hotel booking. And uh, four points, they totally understood that is out of my control, and they didn't charge me anything. This is really good. So you have to check the cancellation policy too. Let's move to the last requirement is the vaccination record. This one is easiest if you got vaccinated in Hong Kong or English speaking countries. Uh, The only requirement is the record has to be in Chinese or English. You can check the details on the following website. If you got vaccinated in European countries. I want to share about the day I took the long flight. In the morning, I took the flight from Lisbon to Dubai and stopped at Bangkok for nearly two hours, then fly to Hong Kong. I booked Emirates. 
Please go to the airport three hours earlier than your departure time. It took time to check all the documents. Dubai, I guess Dubai is the biggest airport now. It's very vivid, and lots of people there. Like, and we can see everything seems very normal. You can dine at McDonald's or Starbucks, and the duty-free shops of. Are all open. It's really cool. And the flight is like 20 hours, and finally arrive Hong Kong. But it's just the start. I have to do the house decoration and got the QR code. I have to scan the QR code to get the sample and took the test. And then verify my phone number.、Uh, and then have to get the.、Uh, Compulsory quarantine order, and then、uh, wait here until we got the negative result, and then do the baggage claim, the immigration, and finally to the hotel. Thank you for watching.